Hello you beautiful people, it is I, Agent Kerbal, and today we'll be reviewing the Dassault Alpha Jet published by Blue Mesh on FlightSim.co. Now unlike most add-ons which I reviewed, this one was published a while ago so you've maybe already even downloaded it. But if you haven't, then uh, this is the perfect video for you because we're going to be reviewing it. And as we do every single time, before actually taking this aircraft off the ground, we'll be uh, going over some specifics. So obviously the aircraft is a fighter jet. It's only really used by the French and German air forces. And it was introduced in the late 1970s and it's still in service. So now let's see the specifications of the aircraft, which is the actual interesting part. So for example, you can see that the maximum speed at sea level is 540 knots. That's quite a lot. With a stall speed of only 90 knots. 90 knots as a stall speed is very low for a fighter jet. It can go to 30,000 feet in less than 7 minutes, so that's quite fast. And it doesn't even need that long of a runway. Uh, I believe uh, Mountainville Airport, which we visited in the last video, is actually more than this. Obviously it can hold missiles and whatever, guns, but then again we're in flight sim, so that's not really what we do here. Alright, I think we've uh, talked enough about this aircraft now. Let's see how it performs in the sim. So today we're at Paperborn Airport in Germany on runway 24. This is the uh, Aerosoft scenery that was published for free. It's a really good scenery, so if you have flight sim then you should install it because there's no reason not to install it at this point. <laughs> and yeah, let's get to it now. Alright, so first of all, uh, this is the internal cockpit, of course, but I mean, you know, this classic on this channel now. Uh, so the internal cockpit uh, does feel realistic, although the instruments are a bit weird, like I'm not sure if this is actually supposed to be like this. So yeah, the altimeter works as well. I'm pretty sure the RPM does work. Alright, enough talking, let's get to it. It's, it's actually really cool that you can just do that. Whatever, alright. Let's fly this thing out of paperboard now. Oh, it's already rolling. We didn't even touch the throttle yet. We just removed the parking brake and it's already rolling. Okay, well, set full thrust. Okay, that, okay, maybe that was a bit too fast. Yeah, maybe just... No, perfectly fine. Reasonable. Awesome. All right, gear up. Damn, this thing goes fast. Holy moly. Maybe uh, full throttle wasn't the option here. Okay, let's just reduce it a little bit. Just a tiny bit. So yeah, I think we got our answer. This little instrument right there does not seem to work, which isn't particularly bad, except if you're in uh, IFR conditions. Right now it's pretty cool. I don't know why I didn't download it for so long, because that's actually really good. Uh, by the way, there's actually a little thing. Is that, is that a, like a checklist or something? Or is that supposed to be like a screen? I think that's... I don't know what is that supposed to be, but okay. I can't tell where the flaps are, which is a bit of a problem considering that this is uh, a fighter jet. Uh, I didn't, I didn't even look where's the speed indicator on this thing. Where is that? That's the altimeter, but I don't know where's the speed. Um, is okay. That's no. I actually don't know where's the speed. Oh no. Okay, now, so that's the G-Force, but I have no idea what's the actual speed. Alright, let's land this thing. Okay. This is actually a uh, better than expected approach. Let's butter it now. Oh god. Okay, you, you're gonna have to land this one at some point, dude. There we go. And we're braking. And we've successfully stopped here at Paperborn. So far the airplane is actually really good. Um, again, I still have no idea what the speed indication though. So that's a bit of a problem. That's the vertical speed. So that's good. I believe that's uh, the fuel. Let's see. What if I just put all... Put like flaps 1 and 4.
Oh, wait, actually, that's the speed. All right, well, question answered. Okay, so I'm guessing this is by 100 knots, which means we just accelerate from nothing to 100 knots in like two seconds, which, I mean, it makes sense because we're obviously using the afterburners. So, uh, it did say, though, that there was a smoke system. Now, how can we activate that? Uh, oh, smoke. Oh, I want to press it. Should I press it now? Let's press it. Oh, boy. Oh, look at it. Look at this thing. Wow. That could do for some crazy screenshots. The plane is really agile as well. It's like... B because you go so fast, it just responds immediately. It's actually really fun to play with. And at the back of the plane, you can see both of the engines, which we are currently working with. Obviously. Now, uh, although I don't mind not having a player model on the external model if it's like a big plane, on a fighter jet it feels a bit weird. Uh, it feels like it's it's got like Tesla autopilot or something. <laughs> oh, wait okay. Oh, it's in okay. That was planned. All right, let's try to land this at the nearest airport. We've got Exca or uh, Echo X-ray Charlie Alpha. Just over the south east. This is probably a <laughs> random airfield that's probably not made to receive any fighter jets like these, but oh well. I guess I get it down in four flaps. And now that we can actually watch all speed, it's actually pretty comfortable here. Okay, now that we're up in the air, where's this airfield? Is it this? It could be. It, it may be, actually. Let's see, can I land this plane on there? It, it, it looks... I think that's the airfield, actually. Yeah, look. Okay, that, yeah, that's definitely the airfield. Okay, well, we'll just do a 360 and land over there. Oh. Okay. Well, that's... unfortunate. There, there cannot be a single Agent Kerbal video without a crash. That's, that's pretty much a rule there now. Okay, we've pretty much lost sight of the airfield now. Where are we? Is this the airfield? This was the airfield. Well, um, actually, no, we can still do it. Let's not crash into the trees this time. It's going to be a 180 turn. Oh, God. Okay. Please don't stall. Oh god, well, no, well, okay. Hey, look, we landed. Good job. We we did it. Okay, that's awesome. And there we are. What? Also, I kept the smoke. Uh, I should remove it. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to whatever place this is. I don't even know. And this concludes today's video on the Alpha Jet by Blue Mesh on Fightsim.to. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can leave like, uh, you can also subscribe. Today's video is a little short, I'm sorry. It's mainly because I'm working on a bigger project which requires more time. And of course, I want to keep my uh, weekly video basis, so I have to do some filler videos. And it turns out uh, I had this add-on uh, in sight since a long time. I just had never downloaded it. In the meantime, this was Agent Cobble. See you next time.